comes will be here. Malan, can I ask you where are you from originally? I was born in Taiwan and I grew up in Hong Kong. My family though, they're French, English, Italian and also Chinese. So. Oh, that's exotic. I, th I, s I think I can see that back in your designs. They're, they're very original. Um, so can you tell me a little bit, how did you get the inspiration to become a fashion designer? You know, I always loved well, a lot of things. Uh, my grandmother was very stylish. She was from the school of the gloves and the hats and the yeah. bags and all that. So, um, and you know, they never wore the same dress one, the more than once. So yeah. it's always, um, that always inspired me. Yeah. I've always been very inspired by the old couturiers, like Christian Dior, um, Charles James. Yeah. And uh, my mentor, who is a man named Arnold Scazzi as well, yeah. he was very much an uh, inspiration for me when I was young. So, so. That's exciting. And for this show, uh, did you uh, put a certain team in there? Or uh, integrated any? Yeah, actually, it's got a wildlife theme to it, but um, the the majority of the theme comes from the concept of the butterfly yeah. coming from the cocoon and sort of it turns into this beautiful creature that like fills the earth with beauty and, and protects the earth and things like that. Wow, so. that, that's great! I'm I'm very excited. I can't wait to uh, to see more of the show. Um, you. Did you use because as you know, maybe as a magazine we feature anything that's innovative and any innovative oh uh, creator. Do you have you innovative features in your show like either yeah, yeah the, there are photographic prints on the clothes that are done by John Hayden oh, wow. the watches are all done by Rado which is phenomenal they have the most uh, actually the one right now they have the most gorgeous yeah can, can, can you show it more the like show. there you go oh wow gorgeous time very pieces, nice. actually. Yeah. and they've actually this one um, is from the Philip uh, uh, it's, it's one of the specialty lines that they do yeah. actually. Uh, and, and you also sell them with your brand? No, or? I don't sell them at my brand actually. Uh, yeah. Maybe one day we'll see. Okay. But, yeah. but, and, yeah. 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 but I, I love the idea of kind of taking the past and bringing it to the future, you know, like yeah. kind of taking the corsetry of the 18th, 19th century yeah. and bringing it into this. And also I'm very big on like the tailoring of Saburo and the old cultural tailoring and things like that. So wow. it's very important for me That's to, very nice. to like, bring it all into a modern element. You know? So you maintain the quality and you give it yeah. an innovative a new twist very which is nice. very nice because you know anything from uh, that survived another century will definitely for sure survive Always. another two centuries I if you give it a beautiful Victorian easy. dresses yeah the built-in corsets that were made from Wellborn that yeah. are still there they're still intact they're gorgeous great and do you have one favorite masterpiece in the, this upcoming spring collection in this collection there is a well there's a few actually there's a particular blazer that we've done that's called the Madeleine blazer. Yeah. And it actually has this gorgeous butterfly and chrysanthemum prints on it that's really yeah. stunning. And all the, photo all the photographs have been kind of uh, kaleidoscoped into the fabric, so it's, it's really lovely. Really, really lovely. Wow, well, nice. And if anybody wants to buy your designs, where do they normally go? Got, to your own website? Go to my website, www.malambreton.com, and they have shops listing there. Okay. And so you can find all Great. the stores there.